fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I am here today with an exciting unboxing for you guys today. So I was contacted by the lovely Miss Rosa and asked if I would be interested in unboxing some uh, one of her items from her new store. It is called the Diamond Painting Shop. Let me get this turned around so you guys can see it. And they are a new diamond painting company on the street. And I get a lot of requests for people asking me to unbox and review items. So I always try to go and check it out. And I have a whole spreadsheet of you know, I, do they have a customer service number? What does their terms of service look like? What's their return policy? What does it say about shipping? Um, do they have legally licensed artwork? All that kind of stuff. And I keep kind of a spreadsheet. And so I went and checked her out. They have kind of an interesting backstory. They lost someone to COVID during the initial stages of the pandemic. And as a result, we're looking for things to kind of help their mom out through her grief. And so they stumbled on this uh, diamond painting and they have spent the last year or so figuring out how to do this, how to make the diamond paintings, how to get the art licensed, all that kind of stuff. So after looking through it and looking through her website, I was pretty excited and I can't wait to see if it's everything I hope it will be. So here's the box as you can see and what's included in the kit. It's a high-end short lint custom canvas Which to me makes me think it's going to be like craftably. So crossing my fingers. It's that true It's poured adhesive. So poured glue not double-sided tape clear symbols a full drill kit 100% resin diamonds. I know that's important to some of you Three to five a B's in every kit and they also have some crystal drills and special shapes in certain kits so I picked out a kit. She sent it to me. So again, thank you to them very much for providing this to me. And I can't wait to show it to you guys. Now it came in another box, but it came like this. It's got this cute little ribbon tied on it. And then it's in this box. So I'm going to, um, I've got to cut off the shrink wrap and then we'll dig into it and see what's what. Now this canvas is kind of large, I think. So I don't know, I may have to switch things around so that you guys can see it. And sorry, I'm bumping the table so it's moving my camera, I apologize. Try to minimize that. Okay, so there it is. And I purposely, it does have on like Dreamer Designs on the end of the package, it will have a little sticker of what it is. I didn't show it to you guys though because I want to surprise you all. So let's open the box and see what we get. You guys, I'm so excited about this because having another company that has legally licensed artwork and if they're as good a quality as Craftably, I gotta say, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. So it does look like the soft lint canvas, like she said. Sorry for all the crinkling, you guys. But like I always say, I want to give you guys my true kind of first impressions of everything. So, ooh, I'm already excited. Okay, let me roll this a little bit the other way so that I can get it to stay kind of... Oh boy, this canvas is big. Okay. Let me roll it the other way. Let me get it out of the way here. Okay. So I gotta say, it actually does feel a lot like the Craftably uh, ones. Oh my goodness, you guys, this painting is huge. <laughs> I I have no concept of space or of size, you guys. When they tell me it's you know this many inches or this many centimeters. Before I just look at it and I'm like, is this a cool painting? Do I like it? Yes. Okay. Get it. Okay. This painting is going to take me forever and I don't know when I'm going to fit it in, but it looks awesome. Okay. So let's just go through everything else while I'm waiting for this canvas to kind of rest. In fact, let me kind of set it down here because I can't hang on to it. I'm so excited for you guys to see this. Now, 
I told you one of the things I was most excited about was that she said it was legally licensed artwork and it does have artist names on the websites when you go to look at paintings and stuff. So this particular painting is in the public domain, but oh, you guys know I love this. Look at this. It's a Mooka painting. It's one of his uh, season series. This is summer. Look, it's a sticker. It's not pre-cut, but it is a sticker and it has the symbols, the codes, and the DMC numbers. Yes, that's what I like to see. So it is, oh my God, you guys, well, I didn't even look at the size. 50 by 120, it's huge. 19.7 by 47.2 inches for those of us who use Imperial still. And I don't know if how I'm going to get a frame for this, but if I have to custom order one and I get this painting done, I'm going to do it. So 53 colors, that's a huge amount of colors, and it does list A, B. So what have I got? One, two, three, four A, Bs in this kit. And the A, Bs, oh wait, did I miss one? One, two, three, no, four. Okay, so four A, Bs in this kit. I can simply cut these out to be stickers for my container, so that's awesome. So, so far, so good. And I can use either this sticker or this one for my log book. I'll probably just make one of my own so it's kind of the size that I need, but if you put the big ones in your log book, you get that. Let's see what's in the kit. If I can get it out here. Let me get some of this other stuff out of the way so I can get the tray out because it's not cooperating. Oh man, I don't know if I'm maybe able to get it back in there once I get it out. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right. Ooh, I've never seen this color before, scrunchy. Okay, so in your kit, you get a tray, you get a big plate of wax, which is good because this is a huge painting. You get a pair of the pokey tweezers. Awesome, I love these. You get a silver glitter pen, with a four placer attached, you get a second four placer and a plastic tin placer. And you get an orange scrunchie, which that's kind of funny because it actually kind of matches the colors in the kit. I wonder if that's on purpose. So now let me see if I can get this back in here because I don't, I just don't use these plastic trays very much. I, I have my Bella tray that I love so much which coincidentally guys, I just realized I went to go buy another one and they've changed their design and I don't know if I'll like the new design. If any of you have tried their new design with the stopper on the outside instead of the little pour spout, let me know because I really love the pour spout one and I was kind of disappointed that the one with the stopper is what they're selling now. But if it still works, then, then I might try it. So let me know in the comments. Okay, and here's our drills, guys. They come in baggies. So if you like baggies, that's awesome. I can already see one of our, our um, ABs. Now, it doesn't, oh, it, I was going to say it doesn't have the DMC. It doesn't have the DMC on the ABs, but it does have the DMC code on the other bags. So that's awesome. That's always good to see. Now, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this so that you guys can see everything. Um... I think I'm going to have to switch everything around, so don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I, I don't know how well this is going to work out because this painting is truly huge, but I'll do the best I can. So I wanted to kind of show you around the canvas. So they've got their little social media over here, and then over here in this corner, which I don't know how well I'm going to be able to show you, it's got the name of the canvas, the artist, and then the size. So there's that. You do get a schematic on both sides. So I've got a schematic here at the bottom and there's another one up at the top. And you guys, this canvas looks amazing. So it is double-sided tape or it is poured glue, not double-sided tape. Ignore my watch. Uh, it feels amazing. The glue looks really good. It's a nice kind of heavy clear cover. It is that soft lint canvas, so it's very soft on the back. You've got the scalloped edges, so it's not going to fray. And as far as I can tell from the symbols, just kind of looking at it, 
it looks really good you guys so let me kind of pan up and I apologize my lighting is not the best here and this painting is just so huge I don't know what to do it keeps going and going and going and going look how big it is it takes up my entire table it's huge so having said that let me actually measure it and see if the measurements are true to if I can remember where I put my measuring tape if the measurements are true to the size or if there's some cutoff here so it says it is 50 by 120 it is 50 across you guys so the sizes that you see are the actual size of the drill field so I'll measure it in a minute um, but I'm gonna assume since the 50 is correct that the 120 will be too um, but you guys I can't get over this I'm I'm so excited to see how this turns out because it is so big and Mooka's paintings are so detailed that sometimes they don't look good unless you do them, um, you know, in this huge size so that you can get all the details. Now it is a round and not a square, but that's okay with me. You guys know I'm an equal opportunity diamond painter. I will diamond paint rounds or squares. Either one is fine with me. And I just think this looks amazing. So, you know, reserving judgment a little bit until I get to the point of drilling on it and seeing. But I'm not seeing, just kind of looking at all these symbols, everything looks really nice and clear. There's really, you know, I'm not seeing anything that gives me any kind of cause for concern. And hopefully, I don't know if I've slid this down far enough, you can see now up in the corner there, the other um, schematic. And looking at her face, let me kind of hold this up. I'm really excited. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see her face there. Let me, there we go. Now you can see a little bit of her face. You guys, this painting is half hanging in the floor. Basically, it's so big. Okay, so just lots of detail in her face and her skin, which is necessary for a Mooka painting. And oh my gosh, you guys, I can't. Oh, so excited. Now, if any of you have ever tried this shop before and have any thoughts on it, please let me know. I have not seen anybody unbox anything from this place before. So, um, doesn't mean they haven't, just means I haven't seen it. So, there we go. That's the canvas. Now, I'm going to switch everything back around again so that we can look at all the drills. So, don't go anywhere. Okay, guys. So, I'm back. And let me move the kit. We've got the stickers here and the kit. Let's dig into these drills. Oh, and let me mention a few more things because I looked some things up while I was moving everything around. It does actually measure 120 by 50. So the size that's listed is the size of the drill field again. Um, she does have square paintings on the website if you were worried about that. This particular one is round, but this was the painting that I wanted. So it was round, that's what I got. Um, and it does, it, they are licensed. They have artist names on the listings. So if that is a big deal to you, if you live in the US, they offer free shipping for orders over $75. So that's nice. And I was talking about all this with my husband because I was so excited I called him in to look at it. And so he could ooh and on over with it, over it with me. You guys, this painting is almost as tall as I am. Which I'm short, just in case you were wondering, but still. Okay. Wow, this is a lot of drills. But also, it's a huge painting. So, I don't know if they were in order. If they were, I just got them all out of order. So, I'm just going to start grabbing and looking. Here is the first AB, this very pretty white AB. So there's that one. There is, let me see if I can try and keep these in some sort of order. I probably won't make it, but I'll try. Because I've already, oh, there's 51. So we've got this nice kind of bright yellow, kind of an orangey yellow. Look at these ABs, you guys. These are so pretty. 51, what number, what DMC is that? 798. So there's those. That's two of the ABs. 
this very pale yellow and these drills look really good. I don't see any dimples in them. There's a couple that have dimples, but they look good. Uh, here's another yellow, a little brighter, golden, another golden yellow, kind of a mustardy yellow. Ooh, it's very kind of pale blue, pale turquoise, it's kind of a brown color, and a very dark slate gray. Let me put these back in the bag because this painting is huge and I don't know when I'm going to get to it because I have so many other projects on the go, but I will be getting to it because it is amazing. Okay, so here we have a very pale kind of cornflower blue, a very dark blue. There's an olive green. Ooh, that's a pretty coral color. I like that one. Ooh, two bags of this kind of pale yellow. So there's those. And we've got another kind of very pale green, kind of a gray green, a purple, a very dark kind of forest green, kind of a burnt orange mustard, a big bag of dark blue, 939, of course. We've got a big bag of this slate blue. It's kind of a mulberry color. Another yellow, lots of yellows in this one. Guys, I don't know what color to call that. What is that? Like a brownish, yellow brown, yellow green? I don't know. Okay, another brown. Whoops, there's a stowaway in there. And off-white. Gosh, there's so many colors. There's a dark blue, a red, kind of a pale, it's almost like a cornflower, another mustardy yellow, kind of a brick, brick red, maybe mauve, another very light blue. Ooh, a very light green. That's pretty. I like that one. Okay. Another pretty kind of peach color. Oh, you guys, look at these APs. They're so sparkly. Those are gorgeous. 19. What color is that? AB819. You guys, that baby pink is so pretty. All right. Another bright yellow. Kind of a tan color. Another kind of orange, yellow, orange, brown. There's an orange, another kind of coral color. There's a gray and a little lighter gray. It's a very pretty green, a very dark green. Oh, look at that kind of lime green AB. That is AB 3819. That's pretty. And then another kind of tan brown, kind of a mocha brown. Oh, there was another bag of 939 in there. Should have, should have, should have thought there would be that many in there. Okay, down to our last few colors. There's another gray, another orange another olive green, a light gray, another kind of brown, kind of burnt sienna, and a light gray. You guys, this painting looks amazing. I can't wait to get started on this. Now, like I said, I have not seen anybody else do an unboxing of this company, which I can't believe because this stuff looks so good. So now I will put a link in the description below to all of this, but yeah, a huge thank you to Rosa for sending this to me. 
Um, this painting is listed at $89.95 on our website, which sounds like a lot, but it is a very big canvas. So to me, her prices are pretty on par with the premier licensed diamond painting companies. And it looks like everything is up to those standards. The drills are resin. They look really good. I didn't see a lot of trash. You get three to five ABs in every kit, according to the website. Um, it's a pretty standard kit, but you know, I'm not going to complain about that. Honestly, as somebody who diamond paints a lot, I hardly ever use the stuff in these anyway. So I certainly don't use the, the typical diamond painting pen. I do use the scrunchies sometimes and I, I save the wax. Why? I don't know. I have a whole pile of wax that I haven't used, but you know, for that mythical someday when I run out of other kinds of adhesive. Anyway, um, it's a, it's a decent kit if it's an, even if it's not as fancy as some of the other kits. The drills coming in bags, I know is huge for a lot of you because you like working from the bags. I personally don't, but, and the amount of colors, 53 colors, definitely probably going to get kitted up in my Elizabeth Ward, which means I've got to finish my Alice one so I can start working on this one because this one is so cool. I love Mooka's art anyway. And after my last disappointing Mooka, uh, I can't wait to see how this one turns out. So again, I'll link everything in the description below. And again, a huge thank you to Rosa for sending this to me. You guys go check it out. Um, I'm going to work this one up. So you guys will see it when I kit it up as I'm working on it. I'm sure it'll show up in some whipping chats, that kind of thing. It's going to take me a while because it's so huge. This unfortunately isn't going to be one where I can diamond paint it. And then at the end of this video, be like, ta-da, here's the end. I wish I could, but I can't. Um, but definitely go check it out. I'm definitely going to be checking it out because if this turns out as amazing as I think it does, she's definitely going on my list of to buy from again. And yeah, free shipping again if you order over $75 in the U.S. And yeah, just go check it out, guys. I uh, hope be, hoping I've turned you on to something new because I thought this looked amazing. So go check it out and let me know what you guys think. As always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to do all the things before you leave. Give me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. Hit that subscribe button. That helps me out even more. And hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads and maybe see this canvas again. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.